Good evening, and welcome to another episode of Geeks Games Whatever Podcast. I'm just going to wing the intro this morning, this morning, because I'm having a riders block. I'm your host with the most. We got Dre, and to my right, we have... Taylor, what's going on? And welcome. Today is a great day. Today is a day of achievement. So, a lot of people don't know that when we actually do this, it is a Sunday morning, for the most part. Uh, that's what we've done it so far. Taylor's a morning person. He gets up at 8 o'clock in the morning. Yes, no problem at all. No problem at all. See, to me, that's crazy talk. I got to be at work at 8 a.m. every day, Monday through Friday, but I naturally don't get out of bed until noon. That's so, horrible. So, at first, at first, our uh, you said our podcast like, oh yeah, we'll start at eleven. Well, okay, eleven's kind of late, you know, but that's fine. <laughs> See, and that's then, a <laughs> crazy talk. To me, eleven's kind of early. <laughs> eleven's kind of late, but then the first episode, what time did you show up? Uh, noon was it? Noon no, or one o'clock? It was like one. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's what. It, but today, I a groundbreaking achievement. I woke up before it even hit double digits. I woke up at like 9.55, and I was like, oh, yeah. You get your trophy for the day. You get my uh, get my trophy, and to top it off, so if you live where Taylor lives, this is like in a major city in like an area where a lot of people live, apartment complexes, there's never any parking. Mm-hmm. But I parked right out in front. Look at you. <laughs> so that's what happens you wake up early. So early bird catches the worm. Is that, is that how Gets it goes? Gets the worm, yeah. Gets the worm. So I get two trophies today. It's a great day. Geeks Game, WP, Geeks Games, whatever you podcast. Know own podcast. GGWP, name. right here. It's a great day, so let's start it off. Wait. Okay, no problem. So uh, <laughs> every week you come up with a question of the week, so I decided, or every week, fucking past two weeks. So I decided to come up with a question for you. So, um, oh, yeah. So, yeah, get your fucking crazy juices going <laughs> here. And this is going to be something, because we've been playing games since. Fuck, when, since I was like seven when I got the, my first NES. So you've had, and so we assume you, we've all had years and years and years since you know our current age now of playing games, seeing characters, move sets, um, <laughs> their abilities, and seeing everything about you've seen many different variations of people. If you got to pick one, what is your what is a move that defines like an um, epic move? An epic move. Now, this could be anything. Uh, this, this, no, you, I, you, you I, can, I, you can include uh, limit breaks. You can include. Um, nah, I actually got I, one. I got one. I actually, for, funny enough, I actually have one. So, it's a little mix, but it's a move that carries over to a lot of different video games. Um, it carries over from Mario Is the high to punch? Street Fire to um, to even Mortal Kombat, and it's the Dragon Punch type uppercut punch oh really yeah i was joking really that's that's it that You're... is it because you know that's like defines you know you see shirts that say downright fierce you know that has a hadouken and that's cool yeah. and all but it doesn't look that cool you kind of just put your hands together and kind of push some air right but when yeah. you do that dragon punch it looks cool you just got like because you have to put the movement you gotta put your whole body it's not just a punch it's a, a body movement it's a it, you know it just, yeah so are, like are you if so... you had a picture like if you wanted to end any street fighter movie you can end it with somebody dragon punch somebody else, and it would just be the like the climactic moment. Yeah. And in Smash Brothers, that is um, Mario and Luigi's up B is that punch. And Mario, when he hits you, it, like yeah, like, coins uh, come out, right? Yeah, coins kind of like and when yeah. Luigi hits you, it just creates this instant flame, and you go flying off the stage. So that's essentially that. That right there is Ryu and Ken, because we all know Ken does the uh, Ryu is the Duken and Ken's the Shuriken, the Dragon yeah. Punch, and, dra- and uh, Ken Dragon Punch, the newer ones have like do the flame. Yeah, if the flame, fire. The, the dragon flame, and then Ryu's doesn't do dragon flame, but it's like slower, and it, it's yeah. just it's just like one punch, two punch, and then he just lets it go. And even Superman today, when you see him, he does not exactly that, but he punches him up to the sky before he flies back up and knocks him down. But that's more of like a high punch. Like, well, yeah. okay, you're you're it's okay. Like, like a Mortal Kombat's a high punch. Um, I guess in in this sense, the motion doing a high punch, like crouching down in a high punch, whatever. But you're thinking of the Dragon Punch. It actually crouch down, hit a yeah. person, and leave the ground. And like it, you have to like jump yeah. up. Like and it carries over to like a, um also to like a King of Fighters because they had those Dragon Punch. You love the King of Fighters game, don't you? You love your. It was a King of Fighters. King of Fighters. King of Fighters. And you then love they that had, game. They had that kind of move in in uh, Tekken. Uh, Armor King specifically has a dragon punch. Um, Kazuya has a dragon punch type move. Mm-hmm. Hayachi has it, and it's 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 a mix between like a high punch and like a dragon punch. I mean, because taking like more like kind of sort of quote unquote down to earth. But they had that that dragon punch carries over to so many games. But do they leave the ground? Though? Is it? Does it? They don't always leave the ground, but it's like 
Because if, if for me, Dragon Punch is leaving the ground. You have to leave the ground like, up in the air. Like you have to have your, the momentum of you have to crouch down and push with your legs and hit them and then kind of okay, carry so, them. So saying that, yeah, they do have that in Tekken. Uh, like Kazuya specific, he will jump up and his whole body. It's like a whole body punch. Because that's your that's your momentum. Your legs. Yeah. You have to, as your force comes up. And that's it, that's just like. And if you watch the boxing match, even oh uh, yeah, Little Mac does that. Basically, he goes he. You hit start uh, yeah. back on the at early team. He goes. He puts his whole body and he jumps up off his two feet and just punches. Yeah, does your your your, <laughs> your hoop punch? I guess with a star punch. Yeah. So that that is my move. That is the iconic move of gaming, right there. Is the That's dragon it. punch? It carries over from Nintendo. Carries over to PlayStation. Probably carries over to Xbox. I'm pretty sure somebody somewhere. I'm sure some funny game punch, has yeah. a bunch. Okay. Um, mine's not gonna be iconic. This one one. Uh, one move that I always thought was a uh, pretty awesome. Um, it was actually it's a it's a. I guess I'm not sure. It's it's just um, it's Lumiere, Lumiere, Luminaire from Chrono Trigger. Do you play Chrono Trigger? I have. So Chrono Trigger is one of those games, and we've actually talked about this before. Yeah, it's one of those games that it. I want to play it. I love. Chrono I Trigger. really want to play it because I hear between so Final Fantasy much- three or six <laughs> and Chrono Trigger is my best favorite games ever. Yeah, and I hear that so much, but. I have so I have what they call uh, you ever watch television and you try to go back and watch like the the black and white TV in the low res and all that. Yeah, it's enjoyable, but you have to be in the mood to watch that. You can't just like pop on the TV and just be watching old school. See, for you know, for some reason, for if you if you go if you're playing an RPG, old school turn based RPG, um, I think I think those hold up either way. I do think they hold up, but. I don't know. There's so much more involved in those kind of games than they are nowadays. It feels like. I don't, well, sometimes I, don't I think, okay, the over-involvement, I guess, uh, Especially like I, I feel like, at times. Like Chrono Trigger, I could probably easily put 400 hours into that game and still like, what the hell am I doing? Is no, it- but there's, that game, that game is all full of fucking amazement. Um, that's the first time that I, I actually um, introduced to the, the, the thing of time traveling and, okay, so there's a part where there's a castle in the past being built, and there's chests everywhere. You can, you can, you every time you build part of the cat, you you clear monsters and you rebuild part of this castle. And every time you walk, you find chests. Now, if you leave those chests alone and you build the castle, you go in the future a couple hundred years. Those chests now have upgrade items, the same items, but they're like they're special items. Like, I think they call rainbow items, mm-hmm. but those are like you know maxed out. You know, but you have to, you have to know to do that. You have to know to leave them alone mm. and then leave. Them. That's my first interest in that. But my my was um, my my favorite move was Luminaire. Um, that was for the SNES. That was for me a big thing of uh, just graphically the way it looked, mm. and because you're you play as Chrono and. Again, this is lift up the ground. You you lift up in the air, like in the Jesus pose, I guess. And like you have all these luminaire, like all these lights come out everywhere, and you tack everything on the screen. And it's pretty powerful if you get it to high enough. But that's just this one thing that I that I feel like that's an awesome move. So to me, that sounds a lot like Ultima, which is it's like, an, it's an Ultima. It's, yeah. it's kind of like it's really hard to visualize. Like the Ultima is like, in, it's different in almost every Final Fantasy game, but it's basically the Almost one of the top attacks, and it's like it's just like a bunch of chaos. You know, it's also happened. known as limit breaking for yeah. seven. So, I don't know. yeah, that was my that was my that move that like that I feel that really awesome. Now, follow up question on that: What's a move that you think you you just laugh when you see it? It's just so stupid. Like it just it, it may not be stupid, but you just laugh because <laughs> you think you just laugh and like you don't know. All right, now I gotta put some thought into this. All right, I'll, I'll give you a second. Mine would be. Playing Final Fantasy, like I said, three or six, depending on where you live in the US and Japan. Um, Edgar doing the bum rush. And it, it is it, it wasn't anything special. It was just me and my friends laughing. It was called a bum rush. And we used to call it the butt rush. And it always it always used to run like you do a special uh, move. Uh, Edgar was the one that you did actually actually did like move sets to do like his his, uh, his uh, ultimates or his um his power up moves. And that was just one we always just laugh at. It was just that. It was going to be stupid, but uh, we just laugh. So I don't have one, unfortunately. So I, I'm going to go on a quick rant. But there's three of them. Okay. Um, two of them is from Tekken. Can I, can I make a guess on one? Yeah. 
are you gonna say Dan's putting his his hand his his uh, San, Dan from Street Fighter signs it and no, no, gives no, no, you this no. autograph? Okay, which is a good one actually. That's really good. Uh, but um, now in Tekken, Yoshimitsu is my favorite character because he's a good character pick, but he's like just chaotic and he's like Captain Random at his best. Is that the one with the flag on his back? Yeah. Okay. And a sword. He has two moves that I really like, and one of them is um, in Tekken. I want to say five or four. He has this move where he just runs at you, right? There's nothing like elegant about it. He just runs at you and then crashes into you. And then if you if you hit him, you guys both fall down. But it's funny because he like uh, mimics the way you fall down. So uh-huh. it's kind of like runs into you and all of a sudden you guys are both going, and you hit the ground. And it is the funniest thing because it's just watching him run into you and you guys are both just goofily fall down. It's just stupid, yeah. Yeah, and, and if you're... You can, like, move, do some moves out of it, but it's just a funny way to look, because it's, uh-huh. like, nothing to it. Just, ah! <laughs> Or you could do you could do the same move and then dive at his feet. <laughs> really? Yeah. So I'm just like, what was what is that? It's a point. Yeah. And, and uh, Yosemite has another move, which actually hurts. It's the um, Harakiri, which is suicide or belly cutting. Yeah. And he runs up to you, turns around, and stabs himself in the stomach. Really? <laughs> yeah. But it does a lot of damage if you can hit it. But it does a lot of damage to both of you. Okay, that's... And uh, I always, I'm a fan of that because it's a high-risk, high-reward move. And the risk is you might lose because most of your life's gone and you could die. Yeah. And But if you hit it, because it catches... Because no one really does it. No one's supposed to do it. It's like the <laughs> stupidest move in the game to do. But I do it all the time because it catches people off guard. Mm-hmm. But again, it's high-risk, high-reward. So I've lost a lot of matches just stabbing <laughs> myself in the stomach like, Oops! <laughs> That ain't going yeah, it's just, that's just a party moving the arcade and you play <laughs> yeah. somebody. And I, it works. You'd never guess it. But the, on, a, on that same note, but my favorite, like, just goofiest, funniest move to do is in Mortal Kombat when smoke blows up the world. That's it's a fatality, fatality, right? Fatality, yeah. yeah. That is the funniest thing. <laughs> I always, every fatality I do that because it's like, well, game over. <laughs> wouldn't that be, yeah, wouldn't that be game over for the world, like, the rest yeah. of the game? Like, that's, that. It is the h- most hilarious thing because Cyber, um, Cyrex has it where he kills himself. Yeah. And he, like, you know, suicides. So, like, which is a take on pe- Predator. But, you know, Smoke ups it. He blows up the entire world. I, I just love doing it every single fatality. I just get a kick out of it. Doesn't, so, you, yes. doesn't Yoshimitsu also spin and get sick? Yeah, he does. That's a. You can actually. This glitch. Not a glitch. You can. If you know how to time it, you can not get sick. But yeah, it's funny. Yoshimitsu yeah. is my favorite character in that game because he's goofy moves where you fly up in the air, you can stab yourself in his stomach. That's just weird. And then if you la- if you manage to land on the person, though, it takes like ninety nine percent of their life. If you manage to land, which is you have to expect them to be under you, not move out of the way as you stab yourself while helicoptering and, and land on. That's weird. Yeah, he's my favorite character because he just has off the wall moves that no one expects you to use. And he looks funny too. It. Yeah, and he looks goofy. <laughs> now, but the ex- world explosion, ultimate goofiness attack, goofy game move. because. I oh every I want to do it and just walk away like all right we're done <laughs> that's it. that literally should be in the game yeah that that's is nice. awesome ding 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 <laughs> fatality and then the game starts again. the same starts again no continuity <laughs> that is awesome so what um, what you been playing lately anything lately what I've been playing lately so uh, speaking of time travel um we spoke about final fantasy 13 2 that game has a lot of time travel involved which is awesome because you can actually change you can technically rewrite history if you change events you can go somewhere else so and you are currently wearing your marty hat so this is <laughs> all right you're back to the future so speaking of this marty hat there's a video called uh link to the future or back to the past link that's to the youtube series legend neil you watch that legend neil no, no, it's like it's it's a take on Back to the Future mixed with it's basically an explanation about how the um, the le- the Legend of Zelda timeline works. Actually, the real one or the fake one? There's a real one like for him as long as the Game Trailer does. It's really awesome. Oh, I like Game Trailer. They they did a speaking of sorry, we're just tangenting off tangents. No, tangent. no, 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 Game Trailer did this uh, really. He they did two videos. I was really a fan of. They did a one for Metroid, which kind of like. It mixed the Metroid, old Metroid, with the new Metroid, like Metroid M, mm-hmm. which was like a prequel. Or it did this video with Metroid, which was... Metroid like, Other M, you mean? Yeah. It was... It mixed them. Like, it, so it showed, like, the really old school gameplay. Yeah. And then, like, the new gameplay. Mm-hmm. And, like, it kind of combined them. It was really beautifully done. Like, it was like... Cause, uh-huh. It was like a sequel... Because, like, the new game was like a sequel to that. Yeah. Really done. And they did a... Um, 
like a sum of like a Metal Gear Solid, which is really neat. Because did you show the like, timeline of like what things happen? Because I'm like, like they do really awesome timelines. Like, yeah, Zelda, Kingdom Hearts. So we get props to people who do that because I've made videos and yeah. you've edited. That takes a lot of work. Yeah, it, and, it, and for them, it's just it's, it's video editing and actually going there, getting the correct information, and getting the. I mean, all, all the yeah, and getting it, the timeline and, and making it you know concise so it doesn't go yeah, out of order. That probably takes because people don't understand the appreciation that goes into YouTube because there, there was like that YouTube controversy recently over video games, right? And yeah, tangenting more. Or like people like get a real job when they people say that you don't know what's involved in just making like a ten minute clip. And like when you edit it together and you add effects, yeah, that could take you hours. And those great those uh, game trailer videos, I imagine, take days if not weeks because you have yeah. to sit there and verify. Then you got to show it to somebody else, and you got like you. There's so much involved in that. But uh, what were we talking about before? What you're playing? You talking about? Sorry. Oh, Final here. Fantasy Thirteen. So yeah. the new Final Fantasy Thirteen doesn't time is a factor. You don't travel to and from time, but you have a time limit. <laughs> time limit? Yeah, the days. So you start off every day at six a.m. Is it like Majora's Mask type of thing? I don't know. I've only played part. Okay, of Okay, Majora's Mask. You have three days to do whatever. And then yeah, you so the dies. The world's gonna end, and they they say thirteen days, but I don't, I don't really kind of understand how that works out. But ultimately, you have from six a.m. in the morning to six a.m. at night, twenty four hours to do whatever you want to do. And you actually have missions that you can fail if you don't do them fast enough. Yeah. And it's really a pain because they give you, like, so many missions. You're, like, running around these four cities. And it takes time, actually. You have, they actually give you a spell to freeze time. Mm-hmm. But you could easily run out of time. At, well, I haven't ran out of time yet, so I'm not sure what happens. But by the end, it's 6 a.m. If you didn't do what you need to do, you get teleported back. And then you get the teleport back. So you have essentially, which is 24 hours, which I actually did, I think... Like a minute is five seconds. Oh, really? Yeah. So I'm not sure how it boils down to what I'll do it on the math, but um, it's actually kind of frustrating because yeah, <laughs> it's like time is actually like one of the enemies of the game. You're like always against you, so it's it's interesting. It's very interesting. So have you come across any instances where you barely make it on time? Like you have like yes. <laughs> like I said, they gave me these spells to freeze time, and I had to keep to get to the final boss. I had to keep using them, and they said they give you like magic. Mm-hmm. Which regens really slowly, and by the time I I used it all to get the final boss, so f- the final boss was the hard as hell because I didn't have any magic really to deal with him. I mean, I eventually did beat him, but it was quite frustrating because I had to keep freezing time just to get to him. <laughs> so you beat the game. You, you beat the newest. Uh, I haven't beat the game yet. Okay, so you said final, you said final boss. So oh, uh, I'm talking about uh, that quest. Oh, that quest. Okay, that, that gotcha. mission. I got, to get to the final boss, I used all my magic. And even more frustrating, so some of the doors are only open between a certain window, like midnight to 6 a.m., so you have to find something else to do. <laughs> and, do you occupy your time? Yeah. And, like, like, I started it, and I had to, I was waiting for this lady to show up with medicine, so I had to go out and run men missions so she could show up, and then, yeah. Well, is there an option, like, during that time, can you go grind and get and level up? Or? Yeah, you can. And okay, is leveling up the same way in all fans? You level up the items, not the person? Because that's, 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 that's why I saw him beat Final yeah. 13. You yeah, level, level up the items, yeah, not the you person. Don't, you don't go up levels at fighting. Yeah, so grinding, you get money, and you restore uh, some magic. But mostly you find, uh, you find attacks and magic. You find them. Yeah. And you can buy them. So you and you can upgrade them. So when you, yeah, you don't go up levels, but you have you get stuff to go up levels. So mm-hmm. it's interesting, but that, that's what I've been playing. It's a very interesting game. Uh, it's hit or miss. Some people love it, some people hate it. I'm personally a fan. The storyline, though, to me for Final Fantasy Thirteen, certain it's gotten really weird. So from where you're at in yeah. Thirteen and where it's now, it's, a long it's time. almost a completely the, the, different direction. You would, would it be going eighty. Yeah, it, not, I wouldn't say 180, but it, it's just in a whole new, different ball game. Okay, but you're enjoying it, though. You're having, you're having fun. I'm enjoying it. I enjoy all these Final Fantasy 13s. What really... So I've been starting to appreciate this game more and more. I sat... I ran to this one area where you just stand there and you just look at the architecture. Mm-hmm. And it's not part of the game. I was just doing this out of fun. Yeah. It's beautiful. <laughs> yes, fully, like, fully detailed yeah, you know, areas. And um, this brings me to Advent Children. 
they have a beautiful like engine to make movies. Why don't they make more movies that look like that? Because people, unlike us, didn't like the movie. I love the movie. You like the movie. Yeah, I, I got into an argument with somebody online, which you should never do. Don't. Online arguments are a waste of time. But yes, they did not like the movie, and it was just like, wait, are, did we see the same movie? Because I thought this was like, what was their arguments? <laughs> um, that was it wasn't true to the characters. Yeah, it's the basic fact that Seth Ross wasn't in it anymore. That. Cloud was managed to beat Sephiroth without any materials. Like, are you kidding? <laughs> you, you're taking this way too far. <laughs> I just like the movie. I don't know. To me, Advent Children was what it should have been. I imagine it could have been better, but I, I didn't think it was at all. Like, I, I had a hard time finding negatives for it. And for also those that you don't know, um, Final Fantasy VII, Advent Children, there's Advent Children, there's Advent, Advent, Advent Children Complete, Complete. Yeah. which is uh, extended, same edition as which actually. Is so- which is actually really awesome, because like, I own both. The complete, mm-hmm. they actually changed a lot of the scenes. Have you seen it? I think I have a Final Fantasy VII, like, I have a collector's edition, like, uh-huh. box. I'm not sure if it has a complete in there, or a regular. Oh, because, like, the the way Sephiroth, Cloud beats Sephiroth, it's mm-hmm. completely different. It's not so, Like, the... it's not the same. Like, there's actually a website, I forget what it is at the moment, that actually details the differences. Sometimes it's, like, a, a four-second different, but then, for the actual final battle... The way he defeats Sephiroth. Yeah. There's actually like a whole scene put in there before and then ah, it's beautiful. But, but would that would that shut the hate these people up? Would it would it really Nah. No. They They still find something to bitch about. I don't yeah. They're on what they are on and only the only way they would have been happy if it was a different movie. Yeah. And I thought it was I thought it worked. And I was excited because I thought it worked. I was like, dude, they're gonna start making more movies like this and they have it. <laughs> yeah, that, that's one movie that I can say I've watched many, many a times and and loved every, every yeah. single time. I watch it. I can watch it over and over again. And it, it's awesome. So what? What it had, attaches the Final Fantasy Thirteen because you almost visually that that game is a lot like that movie. Yeah, like it. I'm surprised that they don't make more games and movies that look like that mm-hmm. in general. But you know, damn, I'm gonna watch that movie now. It's <laughs> <laughs> so stuck in your mind. Yeah. So you might play that. Um, me, I have a. Uh, I'll talk about Titanfall. We'll Titanfall later in the show. But I, uh, I've been playing. I went through and I'm playing some more Forza, racing some more. Um, I I bought Strider HD. Looks interesting. Okay, no. So I have not played the first Strider. <laughs> I'm pretty I, sure a lot I, of people have. It. I have never played the first Strider. And I want to think it was on Genesis, right? It was Genesis, Genesis game. I don't even know. Okay, so I I believe it was okay. I want to say it was on a system I didn't have. I had Super had NES, Super NES, uh, PlayStation, GameCube. It may have been on PlayStation. I don't know. But I never had Strider. Um, the first time I heard of Strider was in any Marvel Capcom games. Yes, that's the first time sure I've ever heard of Strider. Most people heard of Strider. So <laughs> they have Strider for HD for Xbox One. And I'm sure, I'm sure for uh, PlayStation, PlayStation yeah. for PS4 as well. So I'm okay, 15 bucks. I'll, I'll try it. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll, I want to see what the game's about. It's a side tra- looks like a side trailer. I'm mm-hmm. like, it can't be that hard. So what the fuck? So I get this game, right? And the one thing I hate it does to you, it throws you in the game. It's, it says start, and then there. <laughs> okay, well, I guess I'll start. I'll, I hit buttons to see what I can do. You know, then I start running, and I hit somebody, and I get hit, and then a big chunk of my life goes off, and I, I realize that my life is about an inch thick, an inch long, and that one hit took out, like, half of it. I'm like, oh, <laughs> shit, I'm going to die soon. What the fuck? <laughs> And so I, I'm hitting these little like, floating orbs that I think replenish my health, and I'm, I'm jumping everywhere, and then I realize, like, I can, I know I can wall walk because of the game, you can walk in the game, but I now I also know that you can, he has this hook that you use to walk, like, along the walls, and I, I'm doing that, I'm like, okay, cool, I'm avoiding attacks, but then there's a little part where I want to jump down, but I can't jump down, <laughs> and I'm like, how do you jump down? And I'm getting shot in the ass, because I can't fucking jump down, and I'm dying, and I die, <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? So oh, I'm okay. Man. Okay, next time I'm okay. I'm I'll I'll I'll, you know, I'll go look at the controls. Look at the controls says press left trigger to to go down. Okay, jump down, go trigger. I'm okay. So I assume like most things, if you press left or right on the on the pad or directional whatever stick, and you just jump. You jump that way. You jump a certain way. You don't just jump fucking straight down. <laughs> okay, so I go same place. Get my shot myself. Shot in the ass. I press left. I hit jump. Go straight down. I'm like, <laughs> I don't want to go straight down. I want to go to the... How do you jump off away from the wall to them? So I had to... You can't do that, essentially. I have to find out. So I had to found, like... You have to find a roundabout way to get back up, and... You know that drives me mad about video games in general? When there's something, like... 
you have like a tree twig or something like like a tree branch like yeah. just step over the damn branch you have to like actually go around it because there's like no jump yeah no like obvious like you should be able to do this function like you're, you're in a wall you should be able to jump off the wall i mean yeah i mean it's far fetched for you to hook on a wall anyway but from where you are the physics work where you can push off the wall yeah towards, towards a certain area direction right yeah it's just like yeah games it's like or like when there's those invisible walls like a door is open and yeah. you try walking through it's like you looks like you can clearly do it. I'd be cool if there's like a wall there. Like, okay, I can't walk through a wall, but yeah. there's like I can clearly do it. You guys are just too lazy to yeah, <laughs> yeah, implement. And, yeah, implement that. So the rest of the game, I I decide because there's a part where you jump across. You can go across or go down. If you go down, you get a secret. The secret thing. All it is, you unlock some artwork for like extra. So I'm okay. Right. So I'm all you know. If I, I'm start. I'm gonna start doing that because I get I get I get killed. So <laughs> I run across and I, I gain momentum. You you know you do a, you you can slide. You can hit. You have a regular punch and a, a regular hit and then a hard hit. Um, you can slide, and so I, I go and I go through the level and I go to the first mini boss, and I'm like, okay, well. In all games, in any mini boss, especially two, such scrolling mini bosses with that aren't, that aren't opened, open world, mm-hmm. there's a pattern. You know, <laughs> yeah. what, this boss does something. You counter it with this. So you do this to make the boss something. Is a this one? No, I couldn't find the pattern. <laughs> I just I kept getting okay. So I'm all you know what? I'm getting killed. I hit him once, and then I get like he has this long staff that keeps it hits you over again, and your life just goes away like before your eyes. So I'm okay. So I found that there's life at the top. That regenerates itself. Okay, so I'll go up there. I hit the life. I get life back. Jumps up and catches me at the top. <laughs> it follows me in the air. I'm like, well, that's not cool. So as I'm getting life, it's hitting me and taking it away. I'm like, this is the worst. So I, I, I don't know what I did. I kept jumping around like a madman. I hit it. So I got I got to like half life. That's as far as I've ever gotten it. And I stopped playing. I, I, I'm like, you know what? I, uh, I need to go online. I need to watch yeah. something else play. How, maybe if I get past that one part... I'll get some confidence back and I'll play some more, but I've done that to so many games. I've, I've tried to make some okay. I, and I, I, there's no demo to it, so I, you either had to buy it or that's it. So I'm okay. That I'll sucks, buy it. You yeah. got my money. That's fine. So maybe I'll try it in later and I'll, I'll, I'll see if I can do it again. But right now, I it looks it looks it, it, it looks nice. It's beautiful to look at. You know, fluid animations, but there's no tutorial on how to do shit. And I, I can't. I don't know how to do things. You have to. I guess that's, you know, being like, oh, you're a gamer noob, you have to, you know, have help. Oh, fuck, sometimes you need help. I, I, yeah. I just don't know how to do it. I, I can't. So, speaking of that need help, so 13, right, your time yeah. limit. They gave me this mission, and it was like, oh, I was looking for this, um, looking for this item. And like, oh, it's east of this city. And it's a like huge fucking map, right? <laughs> right? It's like, like, I was running around for, like, hours. It's like, they said it was just, so I went to the city where they well, I thought it would be mm-hmm. this item, and it wasn't there. So, it's like, okay. So I went back to this guy, which, mind you, time went. So I had to find this guy again who had described it to me. So that took me like 20 minutes, which is like translates to like two hours without yeah. freezing time. And he's like, oh, it's just east of the city. So I look at the map. East of the city is like a fucking five-hour time lap. It just means just running around it, like uh-huh. avoiding everything. And I still couldn't find what the hell he was talking. I was like, fuck it. I had to Google it. I was like, because east of the city is not fucking helping me out. Yeah. And it wasn't, what he said was, it was true, it was technically east, but it was like northeast, far off in other areas. Like, yeah, I don't it. like that. Okay, so you say, you say it's east, I mean, I usually go, if, if I have trouble, I go to that place, I literally walk to straight no, east. That's what I and did. I, right? I assume I'll hit it. <laughs> it's east, okay, I'll go east, I'll hit it. Maybe I'll sidetrack, you know, a step or two to left or right. Yeah. But for the most part, it's that way. Like, you know, like, it's like, and it should be like, here I am! The, the, I didn't be looking for it's east. No, it wasn't like that. I had to go climb up something, and it was like in a, like a completely like area that was afar. It was like, it would have been better if you described it in this city east of that, because it was completely like nowhere near where he had described where it was. And I was so frustrated, because I had been running around for two hours. Like, okay, dude, I'm running out of time. That old man was a liar. Like, yeah. <laughs> a lying liar who lies. And like I said, in this one, you, you have a time limit. So you can't, like, not complete the mission because then you're you're screwed. And I don't know what happens if time runs out, but they said the end of the world. So I figured the end of the world comes and it's game over. <laughs> yeah, I'd be fucked up. You know, game over. <laughs> and it's like, all right, game over. All race, all saves are erased. Like, what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. So uh, let's, uh, let's get into some news. So what's, what's going on? What's going on? 
you know, here. Uh, you had mentioned something that I saw. Uh, you, you, it's funny. I saw something online, and then you mentioned like two minutes later. You're like, oh, check this out. So it's Star Wars Rebels. Um, we all know that Star Wars has been uh, purchased by Disney from Lucas, from Lucas, and the Star Wars had a cartoon on a Cartoon Network called Clone Wars, which has been taken off. We all knew it was going to happen because it's going to go to Disney XD, which is going to now. And now it's going to be Star Wars well, Rebels. You know, I didn't. I forgot that that the Clone was Wars a, happened. On, no, no, no. Cartoon I Network? forgot that. No, even though Disney bought Star Wars, mm-hmm. it never dawned on me that it wouldn't be shown on Cartoon Network because that's where it's been for so long. Yeah, they they have they have Disney has their own Disney XD, which they show the Avengers, um, Spider Man, all the stuff that they own, all the Marvel stuff. It's more of a, a teen a, a teen channel, I guess you'd right, say. Yeah. Um, huh. so, Star Wars Rebels, is a, it's a CGI animated series, it's gonna be like, kind of like, it'll be like the Clone Wars, but it takes place, it's, in, it's come out later this year, it takes place five years before the Battle of Yavin, and 14 years, 14 years into the, into the Battle of the Empire. So, um, I'm a huge, I'm a Star Wars fan, and you're way more Star Wars a fan of me, you, you'd admit. Um, I think they should stop setting things... In the Star Wars timeline, which is now reaches back from Anakin to um, Luke Skywalker. Yeah. I think they should start doing Star Wars film, like, take that universe, because it's a, a vast universe, and set it like, so in this universe, the Star Wars verse, like, thousands of years in the future. Or maybe, like, so far in the future where it, maybe you can have references to, to, like, oh yeah, we visited Grandpa Luke. Yeah, at the you know he's like old, so Your he's retirement home. <laughs> Jedi's. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> him, he's there, but he's not like a major factor or like. Cause I really like the Clone Wars, which, which, which is sad because the Clone Wars is actually a great series. Probably one of the. Did best you like series. the CGI Clone Wars or the cartoon? Both. Uh, okay. I was a huge fan of both. Um, and they both, and what I was really like, excited they both did General Grievous a lot of justice. Yeah. Because in a movie he didn't seem that badass, but in a cartoon and a CGI he's really great. And you actually see how he got how yeah. he got his his chest plate uh, smashed in. But ultimately, you know how the Clone Wars is going to end because they have to go because it's a prequel essentially, and you have yeah, to if you, if end you guys don't at know, this point. <laughs> it, uh, the the Clone Wars happens between Episode two and three. Yeah. So Episode three starts off with uh, Anakin and Obi Wan in their their ships fighting in the Clash of Clone War. Right. And Anakin has his scar readings on his eye, which he got through the, through the Jedi trials, and that is the that kind of takes t- it, it takes um, opens up where the Clone Wars ends. Yeah. And that's what that's it. And, and then and that's an unfortunate thing with a prequel. You have to go there. I mean, mm-hmm. you can't not go even if you thought that was a bad decision in the movie, or you you think you could do it better. You can't. You're yeah. gonna have to end up at that point, so they should just take it Star Wars Rebel and just like I said, like uh, have you ever seen um? Are you a fan of uh that Avatar? There you go. Avatar. Uh, the- okay, I like Avatar. The first three books, great. Legend of Korra, the first book started kind of slow. In this current book, I'm, I'm you know hoping it gets a little better. But what I mean is like because it's it's attached to the Avatar, but it's so far. Yeah. Where the Avatar plays it's a couple, like, couple generations yeah, in the future. a minute role. Like, you know that... The, so it basically just places it in that universe mm-hmm. and, like, you know, it has some reference to the past. Well, they do have expanded, expanded universe books out. Tons of books out for yeah. Star Wars. And, and they're awesome. Some of those books, I haven't read. There's a, there's a lot of them. I have 26 gigs of new books <laughs> on my computer if you want them. I've read, like, four of them, and I was a huge fan. And those took place after, like, directly after. So it kind of opens up the world of stuff you can do. They, yeah. they should do that with a series where... You should stop placing it where you're going to have to end at this point. I mean, well, I guess, granted, you can do a lot, but still, I would rather just, this is the Star Wars verse, and this is what we're going to take it. Okay, so, th- being that, this is on Disney XD. Yeah. They can't go too in-depth uh, about characters that aren't... Because, okay, kids are going to watch this. Parents, uh, fans, uh, fans uh, growing up, who have kids now? We're gonna watch it with their kids, <laughs> and they're gonna say, "Oh, this is all." It's, you know, See, they're, gonna, they're, gonna, movie, they're, right? they're gonna show them. They're gonna show them old movies like, "Oh, here's Luke and Leia and Han and Chewie," and then they're gonna say, "Oh, here's this new Star Wars it takes place thousands of years in the future where nice none of these characters that I talked I told you about have been talked about or, or taking place." So. You may they may lose like oh that's because you can't see Chewie oh I want to see Chewie whatever. I, I I see where you're going with that, I, and I, I I feel you on that. Yeah, like. 
so you you saying like it's possible like a, a fan slash business move. Like yeah. So they want they want to ha- they want to keep you tied in. They want to keep the fan in there, and they want to make move this up because they they know Star Wars moves toys like no other. Yeah. And Disney so, moves toys like no other. So it's just like yeah, and that's the big thing. Titans. It's all about it's all about toys. Yeah. Uh, new characters, new vehicles, new everything, but toys. So they they could even go back and if it takes place before battle, the Battle of Yavin. If you guys don't know, Battle of Yavin is where they blow up the Death Star in the first movie. So if they go back and they revisit these these places they've been before. They can just re-crank out these toys, the new upgraded version with the new ca- characters. It's all business. All business. So, in so going further with business, do you think this new Star Wars series is going to be tainted by Disney? That's actually a thought in my head. Like, so Disney now owns a lot of shit. Star Wars being one of them. Yeah. Do you see like Disney putting their hands like you know what? Can we cutify this? Let's put the you know Sully right here. Just mark. You- yeah, you know what? Disney made a statement when they first bought Marvel that they will not touch Marvel in any way. They own it. They, you know, that's fine. But they aren't going to put their hands in there. They aren't going to put their their spin their two cents in it and whatever. They they won't do that at all. It's just fine. I, mean, I like it. Yeah. And I and I've seen the Avengers cartoon on um, on Disney XD, Spider Man cartoon, old Spider Man. And they aren't kitty. They aren't like they remind me of something on. See, I I. I... I agree with you to a point that it it's not for kids, but at the same time, there's a lot of um, happy go luckiness to it. To it has to be. Ha- it's well, not it, dark it reminds- as you like. So you're watching. So we had a talk before the show. You're watching Wolverine and X Men. Yeah, that has like a bit of a darkness that I like about that, which is definitely not Disney. Yeah, that's that's that's, that's false. But then if you remember, if you remember um, X Men, um, is it Evolution? The one they were in high school. <laughs> in high school, that was such a, like a kitty flick. But that was Channel Five, I think Channel Five. Well, I'm just, I'm just going on. Uh, do they wait? Oh no! Oh, okay, if I recall, does Disney actually own the licenses to TV shows? I don't think they do. I'm not sure. I, I would think that it has deals with Marvel and all Marvel, Marvel properties. Um, it's it's complicated. There is actual a, a, there's an infograph or a pie chart that shows who owns what. Because DC, they. Because you'll find DC on Channel Five, which is Warner Brothers, but it was DC as well as Cartoon Network. Cartoon Network has tons of DC stuff. That that was their Teen yeah. Titans still on there. Uh, Justice League huh. was on there. Green Lantern was on there. It's all DC properties. You're not going to see Marvel properties on there. <laughs> so oh. Marvel Marvel's, Marvel sticks to now as of right now sticks to Disney XD because they they purchased them. Okay, but what my point was the whole Disney in hands. I remember when there was the Star Wars, the first Clone Wars movie. I didn't like, like that movie. I, I didn't, was I, I didn't like that so movie. So bad. Uh, but that was that was the prior, CGI movie. That, that was C. yeah. That was prior to Disney buying them, and that was all about getting Boba Fett's son back to yeah. Boba Fett. And that's what I and uh, I that was a tragedy. <laughs> was so I, I don't know who that was made for or why it was made. I, I I guess I didn't I didn't watch enough of the. Clone Wars CJ cartoon to get like why this this <laughs> apprentice was so so you know and even the excuse me even the CJ cartoon was wasn't kitty it was dark at times yeah. it had to do with actual universe you had Jedi's you had your Sith you had everybody fighting and stuff I, I don't know how this is going to happen they have to have it's not like they're it's not like they're going to not you know do lesser battles and they're not going to fight and hardly ever you see any blood or gore in any yeah. Star Wars film. Like, you see, even even when um, Luke gets his hand cut off, or Anakin gets his hand cut off... <laughs> How many like, people die when a bl- uh, Death Star blew up? Do you think a lot of people die? I'll go back, going back to the clear <laughs> question. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, well, innocent bystanders. Yeah. Because, <laughs> like, the whole planet... Uh, I mean, there has to be some, like, workers there. Like, oh, do you think they actually have a love... Uh, the contract workers? Yeah, like... It looks like a bunch of people that are like, dude, we cannot evacuate 4,000 people in the next five minutes. <laughs> they had a tour possible. going on. They uh, had <laughs> a tour of the Death Star. Dark Star. Death, I, uh, I guess they all deserved it, right? Yeah, I guess. I mean, they built the... They were part of the this Death Star thing. I just yeah, read yeah. the question. But yeah. I, I mean, so... What, I don't think I don't think they're going to they're gonna cutify it. I think they're going to try to stay... Hope. I hope they try to stay as close to their, their roots the Cartoon Network had as they did. Because also, if you're gonna if you're gonna you, if you're gonna follow it from okay, well, Cartoon Network now I'm gonna follow an NXT, the fans of the of the CJ cartoon are gonna want to see the same quality or same stuff 
in that one. But yeah, uh, so but put more thought into that. You gotta realize that they're leaving the studio they're at. They're like basically taking it out of the hands of one person and putting it in the hands of another in another studio. Granted that the person who has it may not want to cutify, but he has his whole interpretation of what the Star Wars universe should be, and he might see. My fear is that it's going to be just like that that Star Wars clone movie where it's going to be like. It looked like it was for the kids, but like, oh, this is cute and fun, yeah. and we're in Star Wars universe. Mm-hmm. That's my biggest fear for this new series. Well, I think unless not- they hired all the people who wrote the Clone Wars into the new, like they brought them over, like yeah. Just hey, you guys were did this one, we want you to do this one now. I have hopes then, but if that's not the case, then I'm a little iffy. All right, why? Well, I, I, okay, so I <laughs> this is this thoughts? I think that. They had to consult with Lucas Films, Lucas, to get. They can't just make any type of shit up. They can't go out of the anywhere. They can't just say, "Oh, Luke and you know Han went to do their own solo missions or whatever," and, and <laughs> forgot and left left Leia and the twins or whatever. So they had to have some kind of consulting back to Lucas Films. When they move over, they still have to consult back with Lucas Film, which is now on Disney. So they had to have the same people. You know, they they have to they have to still consult the same people to keep the, the story and continuity straight. Also. Um, I forgot a point right now too. Uh, they this is Disney. This is Disney's first, first out of the gate with Star Wars. No, there there hasn't been any media out for Star Wars, and Disney as as of yet. This would be the first. This would be their first. Um, their out of the gate thing showing you this is with Star Wars now with Disney behind it. You know they have to keep the fans. They have to keep people interested. And if they lose if they lose the fans' interest. Then when the movies come out, <coughs> their, their, that fan interest won't be there. They have to keep people in, you know, wanting to see more. I don't know. I'm, I'm, uh, so ultimately I'm optimistic. Op- I'm optimistic, but yeah. I, I, I'm expecting. You know what happens when things get bought over? Things change. Yeah. That show that I used to love, The Clone Wars, great show by the way. I can't say that enough. I never thought that it would be so good, and I sit there and watch like every episode. I, I'm hoping that it can. Right off that, yeah. Um, but I can. When I was looking at like just the pictures, it seemed like a very cheery, like teen series to me, and I was like, "That's not." Was I hope? But you know, it could just be the same series. But I just don't see Disney doing something dark. <laughs> I just cannot see a show on Disney where it's dark. Where, where but I'm, okay, they, but they also have to remember it's Disney. Yeah, Disney, Disneyland, Disney World. They have to have things they can put in the parks. Yeah, so. I'm optimistic, but we'll see. Okay. So I'm a little eh, 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 no, eh, yeah. about that. Um, I'll move on. Well, go on, go on okay, so let, I have a, a perfect segue. Would you be okay with Disney saying, you know what? We have bought Star Wars. We're going to do a reboot of this. A reboot, huh? Yeah. What would you say? Just a quick note. A quick no or a quick note? Quick note. Okay, I said no. <laughs> um, would you be okay with it? A reboot? Yeah. I don't think you can reboot that. I don't think Star Wars. I don't think Star Wars. Is something you can reboot. Like that's there are certain things you there are certain things you like like you just said. Okay, we, I, I know they I know they rebooted for Star Trek, kind of sorta. That's a, that's I, an argument that, we could have for a whole hour. But okay, I said kind of sorta. I said re- yeah, no, I reboot. Kinda, we can, sorta. we have that. But yeah, okay. So a reboot. They they can't. You're, take, you're, cause I would, okay. So let's start off saying I would be okay with it. I, I I'm a fan of Star Wars, but there's. There's enough ups in that series, and there's enough downs in that series where I would be okay with the reboot. So you want six new movies? Not necessarily six new movies, but like, okay, so take the Star Wars and turn it into like a TV series, and have like the which they talked about in the past. Yeah, they didn't go oh, through. Like, like I say, they they just like, okay, so this is what Star Wars used to be. We're rebooting it, and like, so now it's where we're rebooting it, and like, start with this, like the core elements of what makes Star Wars was like the Jedi's, the Sith, Force, and like you know. The uh, Jab- uh, not Jabberwockies, uh, Wookies, like, yeah, Wookies. take the core elements and remake it. Like, so we are taking all those and we're making it new. I'd be okay with that, but would you? No, no, okay. I, would, I, would, I don't think it'd be a good idea. Yeah. I don't think it'd be a good idea. I don't think it would, it would fly. I don't think it'd be a good idea. I don't think it would, I don't think it would work either, but I would be okay with it. But what well, I'm going with there, so um, recently in news, there two series, uh, but let's start off with one of them, uh, Fantastic Four. Uh-huh. A reboot. Relaunch. Fantastic or... Four Kids looks like. <laughs> yeah. This is not... I'm not on board with this. 
Uh, I was looking at the cast today, and um, Sue Storm and Johnny Storm are brother and sister. Brother and sister in a comic book. Brother from my mother. Yeah, but you know it's going to be a little weird now because the um, who did they have? You had this it down here. Michael uh, Mike. Michael B. Jordan is going to be playing Johnny Storm, and he's actually confirmed. And then Michael B. Jordan is not white. And Kate Morrow is going to be playing Sue Storm. So she's not black. So. Here's the thing, I, and I don't mind one person being black or what. It's, it's going to have to make sense for their brother and sister where Michael B. Storm's not like the, the adopted brother. You know, if he's like the adopted brother, I'm going to be really pissed. I'm going to walk out there and going to post a very angry racist rant or something. Like, cause I would be okay with Sue Storm being black. You know, taking a chance, something different. Okay. And that would be Mr. Fantastic into ch- Chocolate Girls. or think, Even about both being the same. It just doesn't work where you have a brother and sister. And this is how it's always been. You know it's going to be? <laughs> it's going to be a fucking orphanage. Orphanage. <laughs> orphanage. Somebody adopts these two people, these two kids, and they both last name Storm. And they're both smart. I, it, I mean, and this is just... The, it might be a great movie. It's just, if you know the history... Of um, Sue Storm, Johnny Storm, you know their brother and sister. Yeah. So it would just make sense if they're both. Okay. What? Okay. What if you go same race? Okay. Of no. Some what, what if you go like see same. the movie and choose all the characters, and they come to they come to Johnny Storm and it's Michael Michael B. Jordan, but he's CGI white. <laughs> <laughs> he's CGI white. Oh yeah, white face. White Johnny, face. White. Yeah, that that'll, that'll go over great, right? He has like you know he has I mean? he has a white face. He has like the the sandy blonde like you know hair, and uh, it's it's still it's it's still it's still black, black, black people hair, but it's, it's still kind of how I don't know how I explain. Oh uh, no, I just based on just that, I'm I'm skeptical. I can't see it. Did you ever watch the uh, Chappelle show? Yeah, you ever watch? You when Dave Chappelle uh, would imitate white people, and he just have all in white and yeah, his, and he had that, that proper attitude, and yeah, that'd be that. That's my that's my <laughs> gonna be Jordan in the Fantastic Four. That's how it is. God. That would be, I would almost pay to see that because it'd be like watching a train wreck for two hours. Like, dude, this is awesome. It is the worst thing you're ever gonna see. <laughs> Deep down, he always want me white. Yeah. That's all it says. I don't see that working. But let's move on uh, from that. Uh, heroes. Reborn, rebirth is back. Again. Heroes reborn. That was a couple. Of, actually, yesterday I believe it got announced. Yeah. Um, I, I, somebody said there was a teaser during the Super Bowl, but I never saw. I never saw that at all. I don't know. But, I, I, but this is probably when I checked out of the Super Bowl, which was right around uh, when they kicked it off after the halftime, and he yeah. ran it all the way back. It's like, yep, oh, game's over. <laughs> <laughs> so the heroes, the heroes reborn. It's so far nothing has been confirmed as far as cast or characters. All we know now is that NBC's over thirteen episodes. Miniseries. 13 episode miniseries. miniseries. Which is actually an interesting point, too. So, there's going to be a YouTube miniseries, oh. a five episode. So, what okay, so they used, they used to have those webisodes, so Heroes webisodes with less known characters during the, when Heroes is on running. Yeah, the best thing. So, I'm a semi fan of Heroes. Um, and I can go on this long rant about how it screwed us up and it plays out stereotypes. But ultimately, I was a fan of Heroes. And what Heroes did better than I think any other show has ever done was integrated the show. With the outside world, they have a a web series. Yeah, they had a comic book. They had like games you could play. You could actually uh, when uh, when they were voting for presidents. Yeah, for the heroes, you could actually go online and vote. And then when you were voting, it's like your your uh, your website got hacked. Yeah, and all of a sudden it voted for somebody else. And like, wait, what's going on? Yeah, it like it did all this like. And then one of the story, a little kid who can manipulize yeah. electronics, who can yeah. It, so it took this. TV show and made it made you be able to access on different avenues. If you wanted to watch uh, an online clip of what was going on in this world, or you could read the comic book about what was going on over here. And they, talk, they talked about side characters that showed up for like an episode. Yeah, they had like a whole story. Uh, they had people voting. You, could inter- it was interactive, and there was so many. There was so much more. It created like this whole heroes verse. Yeah. I'm hoping the miniseries can do that, but I just don't see it. <laughs> I don't think they had, they got the money like to do all that. All right, so this is I guess this may be a a test run. Like test run. okay, we we yeah, the, fir- the, fir- yeah. the, the first the first season of Heroes was amazing. Second series was man, third season was like okay, we're, we're trying to get this back. Is, this is trying to get something, but it's yeah, not really working. What's really funny about Heroes? Um, 
I, I so I checked that out the season three. I'm not sure what happened out there, but they had a at some point announced though. I want to say a web series was called like Heroes Destiny. That was that was going on during the web during during the season. Did it actually take off? Because I remember I thought it was canceled. No, it 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 went on. I think it 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 stopped when the the TV show stopped. Did it? Okay. Yeah. Um, and they also had another thing about they had like web. They actually had web series where they would capture <laughs> people capturing the the yeah they heroes had a, or whatever. They had an episode with called a guy called Echo and he had, he got captured. And they actually had like main characters, but they showed how he got captured. It was interesting. Like the whole thing was uh, interesting. Um, I'm, I don't think it's gonna be good. I just cannot see them redoing Heroes. I mean, it had fallen so far from the tree that I don't see any possible coming back at this point. Especially since all the cast is gone and moved on, mm-hmm. you're gonna have to reboot. How long I, is how long do you think web episode? I'm sorry, excuse me. Web episodes. How long do you think they're going to be? That's ten another minutes long. Thing, cause it, Fifteen minutes long. Yeah, that's an, that's another question. Like it says, uh, thirteen episodes mini series. Does that mean five minute episodes or twenty minute episodes? So or okay, okay. So Heroes is usually an hour long. Is mini, um, which is uh, forty three minutes in American time. Yeah. So in mini episode, it's going to be twenty minutes, maybe half the episode, regular three a thirty minute episode. As a mini episode, and it might just be Vine clips, thirteen Vine <laughs> clips. <laughs> Get him! <laughs> <laughs> Every week is there seven seconds. Um, I I don't know. I, I don't know how to feel about this, but I, I don't. I don't see it returning to its former glory. Like I also I don't see how some reason to fully. How how are you on watching things online? Are you okay with watching shows online? Oh and, man, I have gotten so far with the television. I don't have cable anymore. <laughs> I, I, so this is what they call the the trifecta, which mm-hmm. is Amazon Prime, which I have. I've I've had that since Amazon Prime came out. Which now yeah. you get free on the service. Netflix has like a lot of older shows, a lot of some new, but it, it's good stuff. Yeah. Plus now they're getting their own new content and uh, Hulu Plus. I'm done with cable. <laughs> <laughs> I don't ever have to get cable. The only thing you get, you lose out when you get those is sports. But I do have an HD antenna, so I can kind of watch sports. Mostly can't. I did. I was able to watch some of the Super Bowl, but I'm done with cable. So watching it online to me is just like an. It, it doesn't even seem like a big issue. How do you me. play your PS4? Hmm? How do you play your P, How do you play your PS4 on a TV or a monitor? I have a big TV. Okay, so you do. You do have a TV. Yeah, but the TV is just for PC, PS4 only. Yeah, I don't have any type of cable. I the cable connection, HD connection is like like channels two through thirteen, basically. Gotcha. Uh, but if I'm watching television now, it's going to be through, through the PS3. I have a hook, a computer hooked up, and they have Chrome, Chromecast, yeah, which is awesome. Um, so watching a, a a series now through a computer to me seems um, not a big deal. It, it's like to me, it just seems natural at this point. Okay. See, for me, I uh, I don't know. I um... I went the levels on the thing. It was like your, um, to me it. Uh, <laughs> no, you're fine. I love my little train of thought. I am fine. Shit. Um, you're talking about cable television. Yeah, shit. I'm sorry. I fucking totally went out of subject here. Uh, I can't watch this. I can't watch webisodes. You know, webisode person. I, I try to. Okay, I can watch them. Okay, no. Because to me, YouTube is like the future of television. I, I expect all television to become eventually YouTube, Netflix, like pay like a like a buffet like this is what you what do you want to watch i want to watch this here you go yeah okay so being a being a watcher of heroes when it was on tv i don't know how it's going to translate to watching it just on your small a small monitor or computer because mm-hmm. some things are best watched with a, a bigger screen you know you got surround sound whatever and i, will, I, I can, I can i'll watch, agree with you there though uh i can't watch some i mean even though i'm not the internet generation yeah I do. I have a surround sound system, big screen TV, like fifty inch. I still do it like it would, like I would the old experience. Yeah. It's just I moved that from the cable experience to the online experience. So. Well, I watch my YouTube videos at work. You know, mm-hmm. I have my 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 tablet at work, and I watch YouTube videos and stuff. And that's that's fine because all those videos are ten minutes, See, ten minutes long. It's not like you're afraid it's going to go from like that big production that used to be to like a a YouTube series production where it's like. Some YouTube, Webcams. some YouTube are, are pretty good. A YouTube series is pretty good. Uh, but I, I don't know. I, I'd rather watch. I guess the, the thing for me, I could also stream it on my TV from my computer. But 
I want to see it on my TV. See, I want to sit back. I want to sit back and relax and watch the show. Because there is a thing like where you, because a lot of YouTube videos are just videos that people post and put up there, and a lot of them aren't like television broadcast production quality. Yeah. So you're. So it sounds like you're not. You're gonna. Um, you think they might be skipping out on that, essentially. I just want to be able to sit on my TV. Uh, like I said, sit down, watch it on my TV. That's and, pretty cool. And the I, you did that, by the way. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, that was, that was good. A little project edit, project editing there. Um, you I just right? want to. I am here to get it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you called me up. You did that trying. so seamlessly. It was like I thought you were gonna like build up, but damn, that was good. That no, was. I, little, I thought that was awesome. Little post editing. Thank you. Little post editing there. <laughs> Magic. No. Um, this whole we'll wrap this, this whole thing up. Jeez, <laughs> lost my lost my you lost my whole. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Okay, really behind you. the scenes here, we paused so we can do some stuff, and then came back, and I, I went back in like I was talking, and then Dre was amazed. Yeah, it seemed. Like, I thought you were gonna start over, like you know, restart your point and just cut that so it didn't seem. No, you went from like the seamlessly, like okay, I was in the middle of the letter H, <laughs> click, and then it was like, whoa, damn. He's so, a pro at this. Thank you. Podcast little, pro right here. Podcast pro. Thank you very much. Hired this man. That, that thank was, you. <laughs> that was slick. Thank you I'm very sorry, much. I'm sorry. We're out on tangent. But that was, I thought that was so cool because your voice was like the same level and you were like in the same. It's like you had recontinued a thought. It, like, you, like you hadn't even broken from that thought. Like you held on <laughs> to that moment. That was slick. I thought thank that you. was so cool. Thank you. you. I was impressed. Thank, thank you very much. I was much. really impressed. I'm sorry. <laughs> thank you very much. So <laughs> heroes, we'll end it that way. <laughs> heroes, I want. I'm optimistic. Dre's optimistic. Um, no, I'm not uh, optimistic. You mi- you mis. I'm optimistic. Me. Sorry, you're optimistic. I don't see it returning to its former gr- glory. Okay, no, you see, you don't see it return on TV. You see it maybe as webisode only. No, no, I don't think. I think heroes is a lost cause at this point. I think that what it, the show used to have and what was all there, they're not going to bring it back. Maybe they burned enough people on the in the in the series that they won't bring it back. Yeah, I, I think they should start something new. Maybe something like Heroes, and maybe bring back the director for something completely new, like mm-hmm. a new take. Maybe in a, a reboot. But Heroes is gone and done. It's kind of I, I don't think you can bring it back to life. I, I don't think you can recover it. I'm not optimistic. I think they should take this web series and do something new. And maybe build on that. I think Heroes is, has ran its course, so to speak. Maybe make it a card game. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a card Weird game. Weird transition. Yeah, a, a card game, Heroes card game. So, at least before I go to card games, one thing I did like about Heroes, Heroes did the best, is it had the best comic book. It was a really great comic book. As far as, okay, how was art? Because art is one thing, if, if the art sucks, I'm done. I'm out. It was decent art. It it's it, so it took it to like um oh uh, I can't think of an artist style, but it wasn't like super comic booky. Was it oil paint? Was it like oil paint? No, it okay, wasn't that. Was I mean, some episodes or some comics were like that, but overall, it had like a a very good comic book, like a like a normal style comic book style. Mm-hmm. But it was decent, and it was really good, and it was online. I actually have the entire series because it was free. This is a free comic book series, and I had the entire thing. And I often prided that being better than the show. <laughs> okay. So I was going to card games here. No, yeah, I, I know you would. Uh, you had mentioned Hearthstone. 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 And Heartstoner being like the new phrase that's going to hop up soon. Just, oh, just really? wait okay. for it. Heartstoners <laughs> are going to be like the thing soon. So. Project GS so <laughs> hashtag. I should start making shirts now that say Heartstoners before they get big, and then I'm gonna sell them on Etsy. I'm gonna do that right now. Let's go, go do it right now. Make it happen. <laughs> Patent pending. So, I am. I love card games and cartoons. Cartoon form. Yu Gi Oh, Pokemon. I'm all about it. Really? Plain. I did not know that. Plain. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll fucking rock Yu Gi Oh all day. I don't give a fuck. So, <laughs> so when it comes to playing the game. <laughs> It fucking to, loser! <laughs> oh, my apologies for being the geekiest one here for a second. After you told me I'm the biggest Star Wars fan, which I am. No, I, I, I have no problem. I, with I'm, I'm, I'm about to out geek you, so go ahead. Go, Let's go, okay. go. So okay, so in this in this in this aspect, you mean out geek me? So I am not good at card games. Okay, I'm good at card games. The first level or two, or first player or two, when they help you out, they tell you what to what to pick. I'm amazing. Then I'm fucking. I'm all about it. But once you have to do independent thought. 
and you only have what they've told you on the computer. You don't have, you don't have the one to one interaction with the actual person who's played it before who can talk to you and help you out with it. I'm done. Now I hate you're saying so, but I want to not to cut you off, but Here take a step okay. back. So this card game Hearthstone is like a Hearthstone. Not, Hearthstone. Okay, Hearthstone. Hearthstone. You, you, you want to make your hashtag so bad you make it a real word. <laughs> yeah. It's a Warcraft three card game type ish, and if you know anything about card Actually, games, it's all of World of Warcraft because it has a, even the pen, the pandas are in there. Okay, I'm gonna say World of Warcraft, Warcraft, but uh, it goes back to Magic: The Gathering card game, which is a game that if you played, so like what you were saying. It's easy when somebody's sitting there, okay, so this is what you do, and then they play you, and they just, like, squash you, like, what the fuck happened? <laughs> I, I don't get... All that stuff you taught me was useless, it yeah. he felt like. Um, that being said, uh, uh, Hearthstoners is... <laughs> Damn it, I can't get that out of my head now. Hearthstone. Hearthstone. It, so, I did like the fact that it took a, ga- a card game and dumbed it down. Enough for Did you really dumb it down? Because you can make me feel bad now because I didn't get it right. No, 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 so no. I can no. play right. So, like when you're playing, cause I, I've beaten the computer a couple times and then they started squashing me. So, I played my first online of Hearthstone. The open beta is available on, um, I don't know, I'm going to say Hearthstone.com. But that's probably Even right. Blizzard. Battle, yeah, Battle Blizzard. Uh, so, I played my first online game. Gay guy fucking squashed me, all right? <laughs> it wasn't even like remotely fun. Was there, no, do you have a, your, can you guys, uh, like uh, like deck to deck, are you guys the same? Are you See, same cards? I don't know. So there is an aspect like you have to be into card games to kind of get what you do and don't need and what's good. I just was playing. It's like okay, cool. I can play an on- online game now. Yeah. Click play, and this guy is like, it didn't say, oh, it's gonna match you with some of your skill. Okay, cool. I'm assuming we have the same deck. Shit, I don't know. And then he just fucking squashes me. It's like okay, I don't get either. My deck was just not. Uh, well balanced or I was supposed to do something to my deck or I'm supposed to change my so I don't know so, if there's something there I'm supposed so to may, have done or maybe do you think looking back do you think if you made different moves like oh I should have done this or should have done nah, this those the guy guys? was going to squash me regardless I was, oh. this card he had, he kept doing this thing where so essentially he, he pulled out this card that kept building up strength really and then every time I tried to kill it he'd heal it again and he just kept building this damn thing strength up and by the time I it then it snowballed or snow plowed on me. It snowballed, yeah. Yeah, it, I couldn't do anything to stop it. And the bad, so by the time like five moves had gone on, I realized I had already lost. Hmm. So it was like, and so I, I felt like, well, what could I have done differently? And at this point, it was nothing. So I don't know if it was something I was, I should have went back and looked at my car. So it starts off simple, like you were saying, in beginner level. Like, okay, cool. Yeah, give, okay, I'll, cause I'm, I'm, I just played it today for the first time a couple hours ago. So you start off, it says, okay, you're this person. Here are some, here is, you have a deck of cards. You don't know what cards you have, but what they're going to do, what they're going to do is they're going to have cards come out in a certain order. So it helps you. It tells you, you know, yeah. you'll, you'll win the first two easily because it helps you. So you have these cards, you, you, you put a card down and it's essentially a sleep. You can't play it till the next round. So you, it's kind of like, oh, I have a card here as a placeholder for next one I can attack. And you can attack either other cards that they have on, this, on the field or them themselves. And I was cool. The first two people were like, oh, it's pretty easy. You know, I'm, getting, I'm not going to hit that much. I'm making, making good headway. But then I played the third person, which is the fucking panda. And the panda did something where it had four cards out on the field. And it lived to itself. So, oh, yeah, you can't hit me. My, this card means you can't hit me until all my, my minions on the field are dead. So these minions had a higher <laughs> strength and defense than I did, or strength and, and HP than I did. So I'm like, fuck. So it take a while of time to kill those people. And while trying to kill those people, you essentially sometimes kill yourself as well. You kill your card. So you, yeah. you kind of like do a suicide bombing of a card. So you, you, you destroy your card, you destroy yourself as well, which means one less card on the field for you to, to, to protect you. And they could attack either your cards or your direct points in general. Yeah. It's, not like, it's not like Yu-Gi-Oh! Where I think Yu-Gi-Oh! where you, you have to destroy you, you have to destroy people people on the field before you, before you can attack certain, their actual direct points so i mean the game so I, what i do like about the game is it, it dumbs it down enough where you can get into it if you've never played magic uh, if you've never played is pokemon a card game now pokemon's card yeah, game yeah so if you never played pokemon it it brings it to like a remedial of like okay so this is how you play this game but i did not think the game was fun even after playing like I play like eight matches at this point, mm-hmm. I still cannot find a game fun. It seems really something's missing there to make that game fun. So 
I have a game called um, Eye of Judgment. Have you heard of that one? Nope. So it's a PlayStation game. And it's a car game. And you can actually go out and buy when the game was available. So The PS4 or PS3? PS3. So they, have it, they actually have a camera set up. You actually buy physical cards and you play with them. And it's essentially a card game. It's not like magic per se. It's more like a tic-tac-toe. Okay. It's fun because these card games have certain properties. And you, know, you shuffle them and you play them. Um, I think that's one element that makes card games card games is that the card yeah the the be able to go out and because you know some cards are more rare mm-hmm. um some cards you have to buy on ebay and some cards take some work to find like you you buy those booster packs and it's like you get one rare card yeah and like seven common cards Bunch of burn cards yeah yeah that this game is missing that element to me well, it's digital only, so I mean, I assume that when the it goes full out alpha, you can actually in the store you'll actually be able to buy cards in the store. Uh, you can't buy the cards in a digital store. Okay. To me, it still misses that human element to a card game. I mean, you play solitaire on lo- on, on a computer because it's fun and faster, and it's Not just like something you want to do. Yeah, because otherwise you'd be trying to move the cards and it take forever. But something like Magic: The Gathering is fun when you have people around and you actually. You had the physical card. Now you can turn it to digital, mm-hmm. but that's when it misses what it what it takes in, t- to me. Now, in all fairness, I also bought Magic Gathering on my 360. How was same, that? Same thing. First two matches helped. Third matches, <laughs> nope, nope, not gonna happen. I have not played oh, it since. Magic is a game, and we have a we have a friend Joe who a mutual friend who loves Magic. He bought it as well, and I have not played him. I I haven't played it, and I haven't played him. But he also does the physical Magic card Magic cards, and I have a friend who I wouldn't even think this guy is straight, looks like, looks like looks gangster like, he is he looks like a fucking gangster and then i asked him like oh in comic con oh they have magic cards there i'm like yeah they have magic cards there he's all, oh i love those i'm like what the fuck really he's all yeah i love them i used to go and play tournaments I'm like you're fucking blowing my mind right now i did not know that he's all Dude. yeah it's all these cards and they're awesome i had these epic cards i had a big set me and our friends with the tournaments and i had this big thing awesome. like, jesus <laughs> whole, fuck the skull Thug facade just falls off. Yeah, you're like, and there's you some punk. I'm all, you... I can kick your ass if I need to. Huh? Well, you're a big guy, like literally a big guy. Yeah, it like... always bugs me. So speaking of magic, magic cards. So I tried getting the magic, and it was something I actually. Tr- I so I was pissed off because I was never good at it. I couldn't afford the cards. So whenever I wanted to play or could play, which when somebody else had cards, I'd always lose. Yeah. But one thing about it was, so I'm I'm a geek at heart. But, As we all are, it's the podcast yeah, about. It, it's all what a podcast is about, right? But when I played Magic the Gathering, it was with a bunch of other really geeky dudes that... I hate this. I'm all right, and also, uh, while you made this thought, thinking back, when we used to do the radio show, we used to do the radio show from 6 to 7, and during that time, all the time, there would be kids outside playing Magic the Gathering cards outside... Um, yeah, during our show, and they were like really geeky dudes, and uh, and this is not to bag on anybody. You be yourself if you're a geek and whatnot. But I have a hard time going to any event when it's a bunch of dudes <laughs> that, uh, that all like to talk about stuff. That's a bunch of like super geeky stuff that sometimes I just have a hard time getting into. You know, uh, translation when I play so Magic the Gathering, all of them. when so. I no no when I played Magic the Gathering, there were too many dudes playing Magic the Gathering. Like, oh, there no. We uh, there are some girls out there that can kick your ass. No, no. Now they're not. Now this is where I was going. So during WonderCon last year, I met a bunch of girls that played is, magic. Is wife know this? Yeah, your... I was telling her because I was like, "Dude, I met like the most beautiful woman today, and she played Magic the Gathering." I was like, "Where were these girls?" When I was that night, nice, I thought he was in the, in the couch. Because when I played it, like you know that that stereotypical fat glasses and like um. Has breathing problems. Andre's view, not mine. No, no, no. I love you, ladies. These all are you. the guys that I played with, right? And I, I'm not dissing on these guys; they're great guys. But yeah, they were straight out of that comic they, book yeah, stereotype. It's, it's, it's typical. If you were to ask me what a geek was, like, oh, he has glasses. He's overweight. He probably lives in a basement. Whatever. He was online all the time. The, the stereotypical, the, the extreme stereotype of a geek is what Sajid is trying to get at. You know? Yeah, this. and uh, no harm. No foul. I mean, not all the guys who I played with, like, but a lot of them. Uh, I mean, let me say it. There were the, uh, that's the guys I played with. Yeah, and I didn't play with that many people. It was like a group of six. Nothing wrong with it either. Yeah, but, 
If you be yourself, fuck whatever. Don't be cool. Be yourself. But um, there were no girls playing Magic the Gathering when I yeah. get around. So I was like, where were these girls at when I was playing Magic the Gathering? I would have played Magic. I would have definitely got into Magic. <laughs> I would have broke my neck to get into Magic the Gathering if I knew that the girls that play Magic the Gathering were gorgeous women. And see, these, now. these 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 matches can last last a long time. So if you're, if you're not play, <laughs> if okay, so if you're a good Magic Gathering player and you're into a, a girl, I guess or, or whatever, and you want to be around this person for a long time, play them and get good in and play them in a match. It'll yeah. be a long time. It'll be a lot of time for small talk in that time too. Yeah, I mean, and that's I guess that's what's missing from Hearthstone to bring it back is a small talk. You play a card game, and it is I because I played um, I Judgment on PlayStation Three. And all no. PlayStation Three cameras come with a mic. Okay, so so are, they, are these are these like AR cards where you put a card down and they, like a monster pops up? Yeah. Okay, cool. It's actually pretty cool. I actually so <laughs> to out geek you like I was saying, I still have these cards, and I've probably spent more than three hundred bucks on them over the period of like two years. No, these are actually actual card cards, right? These are physical cards with I, the chips I, in them. I, we still, me and my friends, we just got back into this. Okay. They don't have chips. They have like a barcode that the card reads. Okay. So, uh, but I'm sure there's out. I'm sure out there somewhere there's a community of people who play it like you. Yeah, and it's it's a game. I I was d- disappointed when I, I didn't get as big as it did because I was a huge fan of this, and I, I think that's what Hearthstone is missing is that you're playing this card game and you have somebody to idle chit chat out with. Cause when my friends come over. We talk about stuff. We don't sit there and stare at the board and put a card down and, you know, sit there in silence. Yeah. We're having chit-chat. And when um, I played online, there was a mic. So when I play a card, you can hear the person like, what the hell? <laughs> Damn! I've never seen that card. I mean, there was a human interaction there. Well, in, what- Her- in Hearthstone, there's no there's no interaction. There's no, unless, I guess, well, you can't you can't go Skype with everybody. Or, yeah. or, You'd have uh, to find that person's Skype. Or, unless you're, like, playing with your friends. I thought it was, it was Skype and what other one to use? Raid to- call. Not red, red raid calls. Another one where we had a, oh, I forgot what it was called. I'm sorry, guys. I don't want to go off on a tangent yeah. here. But in the Hearthstone, when you you don't talk shit or make, but your characters do it for themselves. Yeah. Like they're they're whatever they whatever the the personality of the person that you're playing as or against comes out, and they have like a dialogue back and forth. Yeah, and even that kills it for me. Like um, I was playing an online game, and it would it almost felt like I was playing a computer. Like there's no chat. Chi- Type uh, chat box to type in. Yeah, there's no voice. Essentially, it's just me staring at a like the worst fear about a magic card game. You're just staring at a a floor, putting down cards, waiting for your turn. Yeah, and you don't say anything. That I I've played like seven games of Hearthstone, like nine. I don't know. I played a, a bunch of them, and I have not found any funness to that game. So I, I just think I, I think it's I, I, the one. How many people in in when I'm playing WoW? I played WoW a long time. When I was playing WoW, you only were in chat against people people in your guild. So if you didn't have a guild, you were nobody to chat with anybody. Uh, dialogue, dialogue boxes, dialogue boxes were more of ask question, get yelled at for being noob, get talk shit to. <laughs> that's, how, that's how the internet is. Playing. Yeah, as I'm saying though, <laughs> like so where you go, like I guess, man, okay, so some me, so some me, you put a chat, you, you put a chat box in Hearthstone. You say, oh, I did this. I was in. You fucking noob. You're a loser. God, you're so stupid. It's the worst game ever. I just want to hurt and beat you. I don't know. You get these worst. You, you get the worst shit said. There and that, I think, that, think the, that's why they have. It's a double edged sword. I hear you there. Um, but it it completely takes it. Like, if you told me that I was just playing a robot and I thought I I could just be wrong. I could have been just playing a robot and thought I was playing against another person. Yeah. Because it does exactly what it seemed, seemed like. Um, there is the double edged sword with the online trolling and there's actually a really funny uh youtube video where it shows the call of duty people and they were playing um the finals in like europe yeah. these guys are wilding out <laughs> like damn i would not want to play a game where a guy's like yeah motherfucker <laughs> it's like damn i think of it like a sport if some dude was playing like that in a sport i had to hit him with a baseball bat or leave like you know <laughs> it ain't that serious you know some friendly um Bullshit banter, and banter. Like, yeah, I'm the best. I'm the best. No, yeah, you suck. You suck. There's like a there's a line you cross, and it's like, okay, you've taken it too far. Let's fight. Yeah, <laughs> even now you now insulted my mother. <laughs> oh, we put up your put up your dues and, and your manly has been, cups. you know, yeah, it, put into play. I mean, so there is that. There is like the take that out. 
you take any human reaction, you essentially get rid of all the trolling, all the fighting. But I don't know. It if you told me Hearthstone was, was just a server, Hearthstone, Hearthstone, Hearthstoneers. <laughs> if you told me Hearthstone was just a, a robotic server that pretends to be humans out there in somewhere in the real world, and that's what it was like. There was no human element there. There's no card element. I mean, I'm a huge fan of that, that physical. I've been buying comic books. Now that I have my own place yeah. in space, I've been buying comic books. And, you know, I like digital comic books, right? Mm-hmm. But when you have a physical, that physical touch to something just makes it that much better. I mean, if there were one thing they can do to make this Hearthstone game fun is sell cards or something. I don't know. Okay, so what? Okay, what if you were able to go and buy cards... At store, comic store, whatever, and each of them has like a, a code on them. You get this code, you get this card. So you go online to Battle.net, and you there's a place where you import, you type in these codes. See, ultimately, I so I get what you're thinking. Like they has a code, and where you can, you have the physical card, but the like, you, digital. You, yeah, you're able to play it now. In yeah, the, that to me will then there's no point in even having a card anymore, right? Well, you said you want a physical card, so that's just the if you want a physical card, here's a physical card. You know, that's if you want it, then that's yeah. what it is. I mean, that's one thing about it. I would love the physical card, so I can. I, but I can it's doing, it's doing the same thing though. If you have a physical card and you play someone else's physical cards, you put them down, and all you see is that the 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 image of that beast or magic power or trap or whatever you have is in dialogue. You have some text saying what it does. You have uh, an element, some HP, attack, and defense points. And that's all you see. There's nothing really. There's nothing really. So, yeah, ultimately, Hearthstone's missing a lot of elements. I judge me, when you put down a card, it had some animation, and it created a you see virtual it. manifestation of that card. Yeah. That was cool. Um, you playing with people. You can talk to people. Uh, friendly banter. Um, idle chit-chat. That was cool. Um, the physical element of actually being able to touch the card. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> Bless you. The physical element of actually being able to touch the car, that was cool. Hearthstone is missing those three key elements. And for me, that game is just not fun. <laughs> if right. it had if it maybe had two of those elements or maybe even one of the elements, I'd have a different view. And so the reason I brought this up to you was uh that's how we want to talk about this. Because this is supposed to be the the thing that's supposed to drive esports and it's supposed to help it out that now there's this thing that everyone can get a hold of. Like card games and I, I don't see it. Okay, how you, you can't. This cannot be an eSport. It cannot because <laughs> unless you, I, I didn't see anywhere. But unless you physically can see every single one of your cards, then it can't be because you have your own personal deck or whatever. If you have an eSport just as is, I play it right now. I can't see my my cards. I don't know what I have. There's yeah. no strategy, and I'll put them here, here, and here, whatever. That there's no strategy at all to be. It's just more of a luck. And luck, and if you're asked yeah. out, you get horrible stuff. You get a roll. Luck. There's some strategy. But yeah, you're right. It's a lot of luck to it. I don't know. It the game needs to go back to the alpha stage. Right now it's in beta, which means they're going to release it soon. I would rather it go back to alpha and then like, okay, so here's what we're missing. It's a, you you're, you have a great base there. Now let's improve on it. The only the only the only way I would think I would think that Hearthstone could be an e-sport is if they implement everything we talked about. If they said, okay, here. You go to the store, you buy these cards. Yeah. You get your card, you get your deck, we'll give you 50 cards. Bring a, bring 50 of your best cards to here. When you yeah. get here, we'll put them all into the, in the system so they're your cards. Yeah. So when you play, you can play on the computer, but they'll be your cards, and they'll be in the order you want them to be. That will be what it is. Or you can do it yourself. You can you say, in case you don't want to mess with these so, cards. Yeah. So in uh, I Judgment, they... So, the card it's supposed to be like a random so you play it like magic it's the way i judgment did it it registered all the cards so you yeah so it knows what 30 cards you have and it told you this is what card you need to play next because this is the random pick we've gotten for you yeah i mean and it still had that physical element to it i mean like you were saying i don't see this game going anywhere much further yeah i just cannot but again see we're not further. but we're we're also not in the the card community as deep as other people are. <laughs> yeah, so. right. So I want to revisit revisit this one day. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna bring somebody down from the card community. Okay, uh, we'll get some extra money, so we're gonna talk to them about it because I know them. Like, yeah. I I think I'm geeky enough to make to have an opinion about card because I have literally like a bag of I adjustment cards. I used to have own a box of of Magic the Gathering cards. I just kept fucking losing, so I eventually sold it. 
So I think I, I'm a, I'm there to say something, but maybe somebody from the actual community will have like different opinions, and they may maybe have like a mind blowing like this is why revelation this game. on why we should yeah. So let's rethink it. We'll revisit this. Okay, but I, I do want to end on a game that had an amazing beta. I can only talk about this game because you didn't play it because you don't have an Xbox One. But well, I'm saying you can't. I can't play. I, I, I'm I can't, saying I, you know if you I, had the X Bone, <laughs> I can't play I Judgment, and you can't play Titanfall. That was in, uh, it, to make. Wow, uh, what did those stack up in my face? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> so you can't play your crappy ass. I judgment. You can't play the, the newest hypeness. You're still fucking the new old. Your old shit. Old, oh. old and busted. Uh, I judgment. New hotness. Titanfall. <laughs> That's all it is. So Titanfall came out for a beta um, for 360 and Xbox One. I think I believe it has PC as well, um, but I could be I could be wrong there. So. Titanfall is the mech that you've always wanted the newest generation to be. Um, I wrote a review on the website, a huge, huge thing about everything from the journey to getting the beta to blend the games, but this game was so much fun. Just the beta. And okay, it starts off the best way I think any game should, as I mentioned before earlier. You have to play the tutorial to to know how to play to even begin the beta itself. They set you off with, I think, like 10 or 11 of these little levels where it says, okay, move forward, look left, look right. They These are the things that we that every, every gamer, a first-person shooter uh, player knows. You know, the, the controls. That's fine, that's fine. But it's there. Okay, we know that this may be the first time this person plays this type of game. So let me let's, let's go everything straight normal. So left, right, up, down. You press shoot, you jump, you dash, you do double jumps. You shoot again this way, you, shoot, you change weapon this way. Here's your, here's your Titan. Fucking look at this thing come down. It comes from the heavens. You jump in it. You have the same type of melee. You have a rush. You have um, your guns. You have missiles. And now that you know, we give you a little test. Like you'll eliminate, eliminate these people. You pass your test. All right. Have fun in the beta. And so when I went to, when, I, when I went into the beta and I went into it was multiplayer beta only. So when I jumped into the multiplayer match, I was fucking. I was then. I was like, okay, I know how to play. You know. <laughs> And the the best thing is the and I went in and the first couple times I was playing I'm like I am having so much fun because not only is I'm not sure if if it's playing Battlefield Call of Duty any first person shooter into this but I was getting tons of kills tons of you know so much fun I was calling down my time all time my own horn but I'm not great at this fucking game <laughs> no no I'm okay saying. no nah. so okay so nah, no no so that was the first. First day, I was really good. I was like, I'm making, I'm getting like first, second place. And okay, the big thing is the people shun it because it was six on six. Now it's six on six human players, but throughout the players, throughout the throughout everyone else, there are these little minion grunts that get dropped down. So the enemy has like these these positive drop down. You have positive drop down that are AI type of minions. They're around. They shoot people too. They help you, but they aren't really that smart. <laughs> so you can go around, you can get like 50 kills of like all these minions and get your points up that way too. So there's tons of, tons of ways to get your points up. Okay. It's so, clever. yeah, you, you don't, so it's six on six players, pilots, actual pilot, pilots, and only the pilots can get, can, only the pilots can call Titans. So the minions that you come down, they don't call Titans. So, only. Qu- question for you. Go for it. Six on six. Would the game be more or less fun with more people, do you think? No, I think it's just the route, I think it's just amount because the maps are the perfect size for six on six okay there's essentially three areas to each to each uh map um and you you get to know these areas really well and it's it's a it's the amount of it is it's hardly ever you, you run around you don't see somebody you know because everybody gravitates towards the the area of everybody's fighting even the minions <laughs> too so you go you can go pick people off and you have the different um attributes so you start off as a default person, and you have stealth. You can run around, you can stealth yourself for like a couple seconds, and then go you know, kill somebody or whatever. And stealth stealth only works best against titans. Titans can't see you when you're stealth. When you're human, you see somebody stealth. You can see the outline of the person, kind of yeah. you know, kind of predatorish. So it doesn't work well. But for titans, you're the it's the best when you're you're taking out titan because every person has also has an anti titan um, weapon, which is a a missile. We get to lock on, and then you fire it, and it takes off. A good like a little section of, of life, and you can easily sit at a roof, and stealth, and then attack, or and then attack attack because it because a lot of times when a titan is down, there are tons of people attacking a titan. Other titans attacking it. You're attacking a titan, 
and and you know there's they're so concentrated on on killing the titans and people that they don't know that there's a little weapon the message that pops up that says you're uh, you're being locked on my player it's, it says player locked on which means you're gonna get fucking blasted in a second if you don't move or get out of the way they don't they don't see that when they're you know trying to kill everybody so you can easily pitch a person top of a roof and pick a titan off with a one weapon and get you know 100 points and it, you know you get you get attrition points attrition points are it doesn't matter how much how many people you kill or pilot strikes, uh, a minion kill is like one attrition point, uh, pilot kills are four, and it's that's that's what gives you your rank, I mean, points you get, and uh, once you hit level four, I believe, four or nine, you get, um, you get these challenges, and these challenges are really easy to, it's most things like, oh yeah, I get headshots, get kills, whatever, with a mm-hmm. gun, and there's different levels of them, and also you get these burn cards, it's a really, a really interesting uh, aspect to put in them. So you get these burn cards where you get these extra weapons or things where every two minutes, you, you can call your Titan down every two minutes. That's that's normal. But when you kill somebody, you cut down that time. So if you kill a pilot, mm. you knock off like 18 seconds of your time. So what you can do with these burn cards is you can add a burn card to your list, and if you die, it'll say play card. And some cards are like, Take 80, 80 seconds off the the, li- the list, or spawn with this weapon instead of this weapon. So you can change the loadout w- one time one time only during the game. So say you picked uh, say you know you picked a, uh, a machine gun, but you think that you find a place that'd be awesome if you had a sniper rifle or a sniper bow. So you have a card that says spawn respawn with a sniper bow instead of your primary weapon. So it's like Counter Strike in a way where you can kind of sort of buy. A new but yeah, but these burn cards are given to you. If you if you do certain things or challenges, you get burn cards. Okay. And you can have a list of like 12, 13 burn cards you can pick from, and you choose three at a time. Hmm, interesting. Now, I saw some gameplay of it, and the gameplay of it looked interesting, um, looked chaotic. You can run off walls and whatnot. Yeah, right? they're, they're all ones. And the thing is, the, the, more, the more you jump and run, the more faster you speed, speed up. So if you can connect wall run to wall run to jump to wall run to wall run, you gain tons of speed and you can go and you can kill somebody really easily. Or it's just, it's just better for you as a pilot to to run around and okay. be more agile. Right. And the and the animation, the best part I thought was awesome was not only the animation. It, it comes the the Titanfall. It's called Titanfall because your Titan's ready to fall. Your Titan falls from the sky. That's what it's mm-hmm. called Titanfall. Attack on Titan. Yeah. So <laughs> I still haven't seen that. It's not my Halo cube. But I still watched it. I. I We'll talk about that another day. But it comes down in the in the per, in the Terminator pose, where it's a down one knee, you know, one arm down, you know, it, <laughs> and it waits for you. It has this, this bubble around it, a couple seconds, so nobody attacks it. And you can either it doesn't matter where you are, you jump into it, jump inside of it, it'll grab you and put you in the stomach like you're fucking you're you're all spark into the Optimus Prime. <laughs> and it's cool because you get in, and then all of a sudden, like the you get in, and the walls close. And then all of a sudden, like one by one, they all uh, they all like they all turn on. So you see like the okay, and you can see the outline of like the so four. Here's what I'm curious about. Um, I'm assuming like the human form is just a basically an uh, uh, I don't want to say not your average, but like it's like a regular first person shooter, right? Uh, with yeah. The wall jumping. How is mech controls? Because one thing I see with a lot of games nowadays is that mech controls are like controlling a human. Just you're in a mech, and like there's no difference. Is that, are there there a difference? is, um, you do have, yes. There's no jumping. You okay. can you can dash. You have a, you you have two dashes that re that respawn that re that regenerate. You can dash mm-hmm. dash and it'll regenerate and dash again. Um, you have your 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 machine gun or whatever. You have a shotgun, a machine gun, or a one like the other type of gun. Um, <clears throat> then you have your missiles. And you have uh, other missiles you can add. You can add other attributes to your missiles and do different things. Um, those also regenerate as well. You do have also a melee. So one hand is a gun, and one hand is uh, a, a regular hand. So you can actually you can you can dash and hit them in the face and knock them. You can knock a titan out of the way. <laughs> so if somebody's attacking the it's attacking the titan of your player, you can dash and hit them, and they'll they'll knock they'll actually get knocked out of the way. Any melee customization out of curiosity? Not that I, not that I've seen, not that I know of. It's just the beta. I'm not so, sure if they so can. Just based on what you, just based on my hearing, because the, the the coolest thing about melee are mech games in general. Um, I just got back into Hawking, is mech customizations. 
You can, okay, you can, you can customize the mech as far as the look. There, you get you get one uh, called the Atlas. Yeah. Um, one basic Titan. But there's room for tons of more Titans on the list. And there's tons of Titans that have been yeah. uh, okay. talked about and shown. So with each Titan, I assume it's not going to be the same weapons every Titan. Each weapon, each, each Titan is going to have their own special abilities and, and loadouts okay. you can choose from. And the and the really cool part is when when you when you have somebody, you're, and you, when you hit somebody with a Titan, you see their their energy. So you know when they're they're getting ready to blow up. What you can do is you can hit them again. And what you, what you do is you hit them and you blast you your hand goes through their chest and takes out their pilot and kills them yeah i saw that that was that's it this I'm, I'm hoping for okay so this is just based on what i've seen and based on what i expect out of mech games i'm hoping for maybe like not mech picking but mech c- customization like this is my mech my mech has quick legs i just have a sword mech he has no guns but he's really quick yeah so when my mech falls I'm hoping to jump in it and I'm be able to run around because that's what I would want to do as a mech. I'm hoping that there's not like a mech variations of this one type of mech because that would be really awesome to me to be able to customize it to your fitting. Now, would you want to also have to have paint it? You want a certain color? Yeah, that'd be awesome too. But mm-hmm. mostly, if if I can't paint it, I at least want to uh, customize it. Like if you want a mech and you just want to have a bunch of fucking machine guns, just yeah, <laughs> that's you. I want a mech. I want to be able to like. Run it move maybe no guns whatsoever just run and swipe and it'd be able to like run around. There may be there may be you know this there may be an attribute that says never or, uh, your dash always is available. Yeah. Never never re- never goes away dash or whatever. That would be awesome. And if you want a mech that just flies and I don't know shoots lasers that'd be cool too. To each his own. That that would be awesome. But I don't know. I was watching gameplay and. Um, I'm a little skeptical about the mech controls because a lot of a mistake that a lot of games to make to me is that mech controls don't feel like mech controls. They just feel like bigger human controls where you can still move around just as fast as you were as a human. No, there is still some some there's still some lag. That's why they have a dash. But okay. there's a little you you feel the doom 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 like when you're actually in the mech. Okay. Like you were walking like a mech. You can't run. There's no run. There's dash. There's walk. And there's no okay. jumping. And this is all just based on videos I've seen. I mean, I yeah. couldn't play because, like, as you pointed out, no, I, I, yeah, no, I I'm on that no. old shit. Me and my old friends are playing some old game while you <laughs> no. playing that new hotness. <laughs> I don't. We don't. I don't. I don't have a card game for the Xbox One that does that yet. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> That's right. Ha ha ha! Now who's laughing? You showed me with your barcode cards. Uh, sure. It's actually a really fun game. I, no, I assume it is. I yeah. assume it's fun, and I'm I, sure it's a lot more fun. I was than... in. <laughs> not to go back to something old, but. When that King game had came out, I was expecting all games, all card games, to move in that direction. Like where you, like I was expecting you play Pokemon. You put down a card, all of a sudden on the screen you see like this Pikachu yeah. bouncing around and kind like more Pokemon to, Stadium. Yeah, you, you you hit attack, and all of a sudden you watch it the does screen, the animation. And, like I was expecting, like this is the new age of card games. This is what they've been leaning towards this whole time, and then yeah. Eventually, somebody figured out, hey, you can copy cards and you can hack it like this. And then, yeah, I'm pretty sure shit went down the hill after that. <laughs> Damn hackers. Yeah. Uh, but that would just be so awesome. Uh, but Titanfall, look aside, was it announced for all systems? Because I keep seeing that it might come out, but then I. It was a Microsoft only. Microsoft, so it was 360, right. 360, PS1, oh, sorry, P, Xbox One, and uh, PC. Okay, so PC. Okay, so it, it's doable. Okay. It does look great. Um,. Didn't get a chance to play it, obviously. Yeah, we were actually going to do a video and checking it out, and then uh, yeah, but you the, the day that the, the beta <laughs> ended at six p.m., I got home at six p.m. from my gym, and yeah, so the, the, right day. when we were going to meet to go film it, the beta ended. Like, oh, doors are closed. Sorry, do like that does suck, story though. of my life, really. <laughs> and, and, but um, I think that'll there? wrap it up for this show. I think that'll it's wrap good. it up for this show. How long will we be talking today? Five hours? <laughs> uh, four and a half. About an hour and a half, maybe. Four and a half. Okay, so. Uh, this is your host right here, Dre and Taylor, GGW Key Geeks, Where, Games, whatever podcast. Where can they find you, Dre? Where online? can they find me? They can't find me online right now. I'm keeping a low profile. You are still in the same so, I'm actually, I'm actually, I have a plan now. Oh, I'm tell actually me like plan. literally writing down a plan. I'll tell you off the podcast. Oh, Jesus. I, I don't, okay. I, I don't want to ruin it. Surprise the everybody. World. But you can catch me right now. My, uh. YouTube page. My, uh, park domain, let's so <laughs> to speak, is at Project, The Project. Damn, I should know my. It'd be awesome if you knew your address. Uh, ProjectGS.org, which is gonna probably change. Uh, I have a YouTube page, The Project GS. 
Um, so youtube.com slash the project GS. Uh, you might check out my old stuff. Uh, youtube.com slash sex at the beach 49. Um, old channel. I mean, that's where you can catch me right now. I'm still in the works of uh, reinventing, reinventing um, my online persona. And I'm, I'm a little embarrassed because I'm kind of behind in that plan. I was hoping to have it done by January 1st, and then we're going on, on February 22nd. So, no worries. Well, I am on. Uh, I am everywhere because I am a big social whore. Uh, See, I need yeah. that skill. I don't <laughs> have the social media skills. I hate posting on Facebook. I hate posting on Twitter. Well, I and you you're know. great at that. I'm links everywhere. And yeah, stuff. so so uh, you can catch me uh, Demon D E M O N O L. Uh, you can find me there on Xbox, on Twitter, on Instagram. You can find me there. Uh, and you, you, we have a uh, the website is the THG, or you can go you can go com, treehousegeeks dot com, or the THG dot com. Both go to the same place. So you I did, get it all figured out. I did a whole review on anything <laughs> in case you want to go to the old school stuff. Um, <laughs> And uh, yeah, there's links to my uh, email me questions or whatever. Uh, you'll see his uh, YouTube page is uh, YouTube dot com slash geeks. You'll find us there with other, other uh, stuff. And maybe uh, we just bought tickets to um, to WonderCon. WonderCon. So, so I'm hoping to get some interviews over there. We'll be in this, uh, Sadre will. I actually, Dre will be doing I'm, some I'm awesome. One step uh, I requested those days off work. All right. I requested my days off too. I'm taking this serious. I'm gonna go. So, oh, so let's have a little story. So I've never, so if you've ever been to these conventions, and they just had one yesterday at Cosplay Expo with Stan Lee at Frank and Sons down in Industry, which is in California. Um, I've always gone, I've brought my camera, take pictures of cosplayers. I've, I've cosplayed one time in my life. Mm-hmm. So I have a whole new respect for cosplayers. Because I thought the fifth person that walked up to me and asked me to take a fucking picture, <laughs> I was like, get the fuck out of my face. I didn't say that. I... You know, I Wait, put on my that, that's you have to go. That has to be your, but you have to go there with saying, "Okay, people want to take pictures of me." Yeah, I, and you know, and I thought that, and I and I thought that when I bought it, and you know, it didn't dawn on me how many motherfucking people was gonna walk up to me <laughs> and wanted to take a picture. Well, be okay? be happy that they wanted to because you yeah. did a good job. Because you know, cosplayers, and I'm not saying not all cosplayers go to do this, but a lot of cosplayers they sit there and they have their booth and they expect people to take pictures and some of them charge and some are really happy about it. But, you know, and some people just, and I see other people ask other people picture pictures. It never dawned on me how um, draining that is. But also, it's, a, it's also an awesome way to get your name out there. Yes. Yeah, Social networking. Is. So you say, take a picture of me. Okay, cool. Here's, thank you for having a picture whatever. Here's my card. Check out the yeah. website. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. I, yeah. Um, I, just, I'm saying, I, I have a whole new level of respect and for also, cosplayers. And also, if you want your web, when I'm going to start doing them, I'm going to make some cards. Is oh take a picture of you oh you want to see your picture I'll put it on my website or take the take the website yeah. out and then give the website and they'll have you know, they yeah. get traffic towards there but I don't know I I was just like dude seriously <laughs> I don't have that great of a costume it doesn't but, matter yeah you, you, you put effort that they they didn't put effort in yeah it. I mean I I dressed up as have you seen Sword Art Sword Art Online mm, is it, no okay so I'm I actually have like a it. serious cosplay like there's some people who just kind of like you know I saw your wife in the costume is that yeah part she, of it? she's part of it too oh yeah. Yeah, so um, we went as the, the husband, quote unquote, the the couple in Sword Art Online. We went through as as Kirito and um, Asuna or Asuna. So we went as them. There were so many. I was like, damn! I did not think that people would think my costume was that great. I mean, the only time I ever cosplayed was Halloween. It's all it's all yeah, Halloween's cosplay. And people come and then you know Halloween people coming to you you're like yeah, not that many people want to take pictures. I had one person take a picture of me, me, me and my girlfriend. I was excited. That was cool. Actually, I liked your costume. Thank you. Uh, actually, I think your wife's costume. Your wife, yes. My, my wife's costume is your wife's gr- costume. Yeah, my girlfriend's costume is your wife's costume. Yeah. Yes. Uh, it's pretty funny because we when we went, I was Beetlejuice and she was a uh, Sally. Uh, uh, my neighbor for Christmas. I'm a huge neighbor for Christmas fan. So that's why you, that's but, why you're Beetlejuice, not Jack. So the reason why I wasn't Jack is because I went to go get the Jack costume and um, I didn't like the mask. The mask just looks so fake, looks so blah. Whereas. Sally had the face paint, mm-hmm. and so then I looked at the face paint, and I wasn't feeling it. I'm not good at face painting. Then I looked at the Beetlejuice, is where you paint your face all white, and then like you do black in the eyes. Yeah. And, and then I had the hair for it, which ultimately, <laughs> Beetlejuice has that wacky hair. I had wacky hair at the time. I just needed to spray paint it green. Green. And then I did that, which was like the worst idea because when I had to go to work the next morning, yes, my hair was green. <laughs> But, you were you were with me, weren't you? That I remember, hmm. you were with uh, you were working with us, right? Uh, no, I was working at another hospital. Hmm. But it was just I had I went to work with the face paint on, and um, 
I couldn't get that shit out of my face. I couldn't get it out of my face. I couldn't get it out of my hair. And I had to be at work. Luckily, I work in an office mostly by myself. Mm-hmm. So it, it wasn't until like 7 p.m. or 7 a.m. People were like, what the hell is going on here? It was, like, it was a Halloween party. Just bear with me. Uh, but a whole new level of cosplay. But WonderCon, I'm looking forward to it. We're going to do interviews. We're going to be kidnapping people. We're going to be knocking it. No, just kidding. <laughs> I'm not saying no day that. Yeah, no, I'm not uh, saying it's not going to happen. I'm looking forward to it, actually. Me too. Um, but we'll talk about uh, that in another show. Um, we're kind of, again, our time limit is in hit up. Um, anything else you want to leave up on? Han shot first. I just found out today. Han shot first. There was no Hearthstoners <laughs> either. Sorry, guys. Heartstoners for the rescue.